Hi, my name is Mark Cruz, and I'm excited to talk to you about Nikon's newest DSLR, the D850. This first look video you're watching is the first installment of the D850 series, and it'll contain information on the still photography features of this camera. To find out all about the video features found in the D850, make sure you watch part two as well. Now, the reason I'm so excited about this camera is because of how versatile it really is. You'll hear me mention throughout these videos if you're a landscape photographer, if you're a sports photographer, or if you shoot weddings or time lapses. These are highly varied disciplines within the photography umbrella, and generally most cameras are great at one thing, but rarely do they truly excel at multiple types of photography. The D850 is not most cameras, and by the end of this video, I think you'll agree that this might be Nikon's most versatile full-frame DSLR ever made. Being able to excel at sports photography, landscapes, fashion, wedding photography, and more. So what makes the D850 stand out this much? Let's start by looking at the brand new sensor. It's Nikon's first back-illuminated full-frame sensor with 45.7 megapixels and no optical low-pass filter. Utilizing back-illuminated technology for the sensor design means that more light is actually contacting each pixel than with a conventional sensor, resulting in better low-light image quality and wider dynamic range. Aided by the fact that the D850 has the lowest native ISO setting offered by any camera manufacturer, ISO 64. Thanks to the new sensor technology and the XP5 processor, the ISO range natively goes up to 25,600. This lets the D850 shoot in just about any type of light. The D810 is still talked about as having some of the most faithful colors and widest dynamic range on the market, rivaling some medium format systems when shot at ISO 64. The new D850 builds on that reputation, providing stunning dynamic range and high ISO image quality, while also providing a level of detail never before seen from a Nikon, making it a perfect fit for landscape, wedding, or commercial photographers. While the D850 has the highest megapixel count of any Nikon to date, it also offers solutions for people who really want the feature set of this new DSLR, but don't always need the largest file size. With the D850, you can easily change between shooting at a large RAW file at 45.7 megapixels, a medium RAW file, which is now recording at 25.6 megapixels, or a small RAW file, which is an 11.4 megapixel image. Select the best option based on your workflow. Another solution for reducing the file size while shooting at the full 45.7 megapixels is to change the bit depth and RAW compression. By switching to a 12-bit RAW file, you'll be saving about a third of the file size right away. Theoretically, is there a difference between 12 and 14-bit? Yes, but in most real-world editing scenarios, very few people will actually notice the difference between the two. Next, by changing the RAW compression to lossless compressed, you'll be saving another third of the file size. So just by changing those two settings, you're down two-thirds of the original file size and you're still recording the full 45.7 megapixel count. So far, I've only talked about the image quality and the sensor technology, but what else makes this camera so impressive? If you're a sports, wildlife, or action photographer, you normally wouldn't expect a 45 megapixel camera to keep up with your needs, but the D850 does just that. First, it has the exact 180,000 pixel RGB metering sensor and autofocus system that's used in the flagship D5. That means it has 153 autofocus points with 99 cross-type sensors. It has a dedicated AF processor and a detection range down to negative 4 EV, which is lower than what the human eye can see. When you combine the most advanced AF system Nikon has ever produced with a fast continuous drive mode, the scenarios that the D850 excels in just keep getting bigger and bigger. Natively, the D850 can shoot at 7 frames per second, but if you use the new optional MBD18 battery grip and the ENEL18B battery, you can now reach 9 frames per second. The D850 does this at its full resolution of 45.7 megapixels, either as a RAW or JPEG file, and thanks to the XP5 processor, 
along with the addition of an XQD card slot and a UHS-2 compatible SD card slot, there's a buffer size of 51 14-bit RAW files. Now what about for action shots where silence is key? Maybe you're at a wedding ceremony or at the fairway of a golf course and you need to be as quiet as possible. By turning on Live View and selecting Silent Live View Photography, you can use the D850's full electronic shutter. By turning the camera to continuous drive mode, you can shoot completely silently at up to 6 frames per second, all while recording a full 45 megapixel JPEG or RAW image. If you need to shoot even faster, select mode 2, and you can now shoot 8.6 megapixel JPEG files at 30 frames per second. Looking at the body of the D850, it looked very similar to the changes that were seen with the announcement of the D5 and D500. The ISO button is now placed conveniently close to your index finger. Many of the buttons are now illuminated to make shooting in low light situations easier to see. The tilting and touch sensitive LCD screen is 3.2 inches in size and has a resolution of 2.359 million. One difference is that it has the most extensive touch functionality found in any Nikon DSLR to date, from changing menu settings, to shooting, and to reviewing images. The D850 is still fully weather sealed and built with a full magnesium alloy chassis, but the size of the grip has been increased in comparison with the D810, making it more comfortable during prolonged shoots. One reason many people love their full-frame Nikon DSLR is being able to use an optical viewfinder. And when you look through the D850's viewfinder, you'll see that it is the largest ever made in Nikon's DSLR history. There's virtually no time lag, like when you shoot with many EVF systems, and you get the true view of the subject when viewing through your Nikkor lenses. One of the ways that Nikon was able to increase the size of the viewfinder was the removal of the built-in pop-up flash. But, thanks to the D850 being able to control the SP5000 flash through the WR10 wireless remote adapter via radio frequencies, this still makes wireless lighting easy, even at distances up to 100 feet away. Many Nikon DSLRs have built-in features which attempt to make life easier for photographers, whether it's built-in HDR mode, multiple exposure mode, or built-in time-lapse mode. There's now a new feature called Focus Shift Shooting. It's aimed at photographers who do a lot of macro photography or who've attempted focus stacking in the past. This new mode will take some of the guesswork out of focus stacking as you get to select the number of shots taken, the width of each focus step, whether you'd like to mute the sound completely, and if you want a new folder to be created just for these shots. The camera will automatically take up to 300 images while moving the focus position from the initial starting point out until infinity. Once finished, the individual files are ready to be exported into third-party software for focus stacking to take place. One other built-in feature that's new to Nikon DSLRs is something that'll help photographers who have a large amount of old negatives that they've always wanted to scan but never found the time. It's a film digitizer mode which supports both color and monochrome negative film. By using the new ES2 film digitizing adapter and a Nikkor micro lens, you're able to easily convert negatives into 45 megapixel digital images the D850 will automatically reverse the colors and store them as a finished JPEG file. The D850 ticks off a lot of boxes for nearly every type of photographer. It really is an incredibly versatile camera, and thanks to having built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you can easily share your amazing images as well. This video was just one part of a two-part series, so make sure you check out the second installment if you want to learn about how the D850 is not only great for filmmakers, but anyone who shoots time-lapses as well. For more information, also check out our website.